infertile. Died early. Well. <laughs> Died early. Died early. And this is because there was blackout on day six of incubation. You see? All of them died at around the same time. The ones that didn't hatch died at that time when there was a 24 hour blackout. You see, all of them, the ones that didn't hatch, all died at the same time. So when you get when you hatch your eggs and the, the those that do not hatch you need to break them and establish what caused them not to come out when you break them you know at what stage and when you check your records you will know why they didn't come out in my case i lost power for 24 hours and on day seven day six seven that's why you see all this didn't come out well and now let's open the incubator yes! this is an egg an automatic egg scdc incubator supplied by engoho it can incubate 64 eggs but in our case we put only one tray, one crate of eggs that is 30 eggs out of yes! the 30 nine didn't come out because of that and as you can see these are the remaining chicks yes! these are the 19 very healthy chicks that were hatched from the out of the 30 eggs yes. let's pick one the last egg that we didn't do candling and establish why oh, no. after candling it showed that there were eggs in it there were there was a chick formed the two that showed that they were formed but they didn't go yeah. ahead and hatch so let's go and break them and see why they didn't come out okay these two eggs showed formation during candling but somehow didn't come out so let me check let's break them and see why they didn't come out it's that was poor candling because it shows that the the chick died early the day six like the rest these two meaning all our unhatched eggs came out died at day six during blackout but the rest of the eggs hatched properly. So what? this evidence that Engoho incubators but do hatch well, but you have to be observant of the quality of eggs you incubate and also power stability. In our case, we really, really got quality eggs from our...